Hi folks, how you doing? Um, today we're going to tie a small little fry pattern. Um, it's actually supposed to represent a minnow. Um, as you can see, it's got the black lateral line in it. Um, I used this quite a bit last season actually as a dropper fly uh, for perch and it caught plenty. Um, I tend to fish it with a like a jig, jiggy type pattern on the, uh, the point, like a, a class or a Martin's minnow. Um, and then the, the lighter fly on the dropper and I caught plenty of fish. If they didn't want the jiggy fly, they'd hit hit the dropper or sometimes they'd hit both. Um, the best I've caught fishing this way, uh, yeah, I think we're trying to think how much they weighed now. It's about two and a half pounds, two at the same time. So it was it was fun and that was at Grafham. Um, but on the rivers, there's fish don't grow that big, but I've had plenty of double hookups and Plenty of fun fishing these flies during the summer months. Anyway, without further ado, we'll uh, we'll start tying. Right, today we're going to be tying with an Arex NS172 Curve Gamma Roo size 4. You can use whatever size you want. Oh, this is about a 3 inch fly, so size 4 is about right. The thread we're going to be using is GSP100. I mean, it's not really important thread. You can use whatever you prefer to use. Uh, I like, I prefer to use GSP. So I've lightly waxed this so it grips. Lay a thread base down. Now for the the lateral line through the fly, we're going to just add some add some nyat. You don't need a great deal. Just a a thin piece. Just take the under short under furs out. So we're looking for looking through about two and a half inches. So just tie that down on top. Like that. And just cut off the excess. And to cover that white thread we're gonna add a bit of I think this is Venyard Glister dub, but you can use whatever sparkly dub you like. This is just a little bit of orange, just to add a bit of contrast behind the eye for gill cover. And all we're doing is just covering that white. We don't need much of it. Like that. And now we need to tie in some bucktail. I'm going to be using tan. Um, Sort of a minnowy colour, tans, tans, browns, a little bit of olive in minnows. Again, we don't need a great deal of this. It's very easy to overdo the bucktail on this fly, so you do not need much at all. So tie a few up, see how they fish, and then maybe use less than what you think you need. So that's about right. Maybe a bit too much actually in there, so I'm going to take some out. Now I want this to come not quite to the end of the, the black of the night, but maybe a centimetre off. And I'm just going to put a couple of loose straps over the top, and I want to make sure this beptile goes all the way around the fly, which it has. Pull tight. And then remove those tag ends. It's a bit fiddly when you tie this way. A bit rough around the edges of that one, but that, that will do. The fish aren't going to mind. Just make sure that bucktail lays fairly flat over the tail. We don't want it to, fl to uh, flare too much. We're just creating the body profile here. Next we're going to use some squimpish flies hair and this is um, a colour called mulch. I should really call this a mulch minnow. I might do actually. No doubt somebody's thought about this design before. It's sort of based loosely on a flat wing um, without the feathers. Mm. Yeah, could add feathers to it, of course. We'll just take a, a small amount and we're just going to 
blend the squimpish to make sure it's tapered properly. Make sure we remove any of the, the square edges that are in there. So I can see some there, so we want to taper those. Make sure they're well blended. If you don't, then it makes your fly look a bit a bit naff. We'll just take some longer bits off. Like that. So bring that thread forward. And I want this squimpish to be the same length as the black of the night. I'm just going to put a few loose wraps over the top. And lastly, for the underside, we're just going to use a little bit of white bucktail. You don't need much. Just a little bit. If you can hear some noise in the background, the cat has just gone for, come through the cat flap. It's quite hard to do videos during the day because everybody's at home. Everybody wants to be doing something. So we're looking, I don't know how well you can see that, but we're looking for around that much. We don't need a lot. We're looking for the curly fibers. We took that from the middle, middle of the base. So we don't, not too much air in it, but we want a little bit. So I'm just gonna turn the fly over and I'm gonna add a little that bucktail down, a few wraps over the top. I'm just gonna, while well, I've still got the butt, but, so I'm gonna cut them off now. I can just check. Check that white is central. And come around the side a little bit, which is what I want. And take our push tool. I'm just going to push that bucktail back. Come bring our thread, thread forward and I'm going to start building a, a small dam in front of it to hold that material back. And just roll your fly and you can see it starts going back now and that looks perfect. I'm going to whip finish. Now before we put the eyes on, I mean you could fish it like that, but before we put the eyes on we're going to add some brown on that white just to blend it in a little bit coming up the fly. slightly dark in it. Now eyes I'm using, I think these are six mil tape eyes and they're from, um, where are they from? They're from hairline dubbing. And if you're American it's quarter inch, if you're from the UK or Europe it's six millimeter. I'll never get the quarter of inch thing, <laughs> it confuses me. Anyway, let's get a few of these eyes off and we'll get them glued on quick. If I can get them off, they're, not, they're all pretty well stuck to the, the backing. Come on. It's not going very well. It shouldn't be stuck to the... Here we go. So we're going to use um, Evo Stick Serious Glue. You can use your glue of choice. This is a, a gel gl type glue, which I find very good for keeping eyes on. I don't really lose them if I'm using tape eyes. And we just wanna clamp that down to make sure those hairs stay in place. There we go. The cat's, the cat's going to meow any second now. Are you meowing? Right. Here we go. Just add those eyes. Give it a 
wipe off any excess glue. Right, you need to let those set. Let those set for a bit. And then what I do after that, I'm not going to show you as in this video because I don't think I really need to. I just give them a good coating with Deacrete Fine Flex, or you can use the, your UV of choice. Um, just finishes the head off nicely, makes it look neat, makes those eyes durable. Um, adds a little bit of weight to the head as well. Okay, so like, like I've done with this fly. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Very simple fly to tie. Um, very similar to the uh, the Nordic type sea trout flies that you see. Um, no doubt it would catch sea trout as well, but I, I use this one for perch. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you again. Bye.